A common question we receive in a very competitive seller's market is what is the difference between earnest money and option money? And these are both set forth on the very first page of the GAR purchase and sale agreement. Option money is very different than earnest money. Earnest money, for example, is trust funds. It's held in a trust account by one of the brokers or the closing attorney in the deal in most cases. It's a good faith deposit that is held to ensure the performance of the party. So, for example, if the buyer breaches the contract and cannot close, that is money that the seller could collect as a remedy. Now, it is applied toward the buyer's purchase at closing in most cases. Option money, in contrast, is non-refundable and it's paid to the seller for a very specific right. And that's set forth in Section 8 here, right underneath inspection and due diligence. So the approach to option money in the GAR contract is option money is paid to the seller in exchange for a due diligence period. It may only be a three-day due diligence period, maybe five days. It tends to be a relation between the amount of earnest money or, or amount of option money rather paid and in the number of days of due diligence that the buyer is requesting. So the more days the buyer is asking for, typically the greater amount of option money that is paid. And it doesn't have to be all or nothing. It could be that there's a combination of earnest money and option money. But the benefit to the seller is that the seller knows that in exchange for accepting the contract, that the buyer does choose to terminate for any reason at all, which they can within their due diligence period, they have received a payment. The buyer's not simply receiving a refund and the seller's having to start all over. Because in a very competitive seller's market, many sellers will demand no due diligence period, but will ask that the property be sold with the right to request repairs exhibit attached to the contract. This is very different than a due diligence period because a buyer can't simply walk away for any reason at all. They are limited to asking the seller to make repairs for things that are identified in a written report by a professional home inspector as a material defect, what the exhibit identifies or defines as a defect. So the parties have a defect resolution period that they can negotiate repair items or the buyer could choose to accept the property as is or the contract will automatically terminate. But it's very different than a buyer simply having the right to terminate for any reason that they would customarily have in a due diligence period. Now, customarily in Georgia, it is not common for a buyer to pay for due diligence, except in very competitive multiple offer situations, which is what a lot of buyers and buyer's agents are facing when inventory is low and competition is very tough. So difference between earnest money and option money, key differences, earnest money is held in a trust account to ensure performance. It could be refunded to the buyer in the event that the contract fails to close and they are not in breach. Option money is non-refundable, pay to the seller. It may or may not be applied toward their closing. I absolutely recommend that we select the box that says that it is going to be applied subject to lender approval. And in most cases, a lender will go ahead and allow that buyer to receive credit for any option money paid at closing.